That's a beautiful boy. When Joanna testified on the stand, you saw that she had a dog with her to keep her calm. And those of us who have raised children and had children, from the very beginning, this case caught the hearts and the minds of, I think, everybody throughout the country and certainly hit home here in Orange County. And we were on this case from the very, very beginning. You may recall that I was very, very firm when we were in the middle of the manhunt and we had no idea who Mr. Aries was or who Winnie Lee was. And I put out there very, very clearly, you've got 24 hours to turn yourself in. Why did I feel that way? Because I'm a human being. Because I've raised two children with my wife. And a mom literally held her son whose heart was bleeding on the side of a freeway here in Orange County because of the reckless and just cold-hearted behavior of an individual who decided that he would carry a gun and when the right time presented itself, he would use that to take a human life or at least to scare somebody to the point of being completely reckless. I texted Joanna this morning and I asked her a question. What is Aiden's favorite color? And she said turquoise. And I looked through my ties and I looked for the only turquoise I could find. A little bit of turquoise. And I texted her a picture of it and it came out kind of yellowish and she said, oh, I love yellow too. And I go, no, Joanna, that's actually turquoise. His life taken. Six years old. She had to bury her son. His sister had to bury her brother. Their father had to bury a son. It's not the normal order of events. We don't predecease our children. That's why this has hit home, I think, with everybody in Orange County and across America, because you don't your children don't die before you. I was very upset during the trial, during defense's argument. I think defense made two arguments that I found very, very hard, and I thought they would fail in front of this jury. He attacked Joanna, the mother, and as if when she came by the car and she gestured to Winnie and Mr. Aries, the defendant, that somehow it was Joanna Clunan that put a set of events in place that would allow somebody then to grab a gun from behind the driver's seat, cock it, right, put a round in the chamber, roll down a window, and then aim and fire towards a moving vehicle because of that event. And their argument was that somehow the mother is culpable in some way, jury, to consider for the death of her son. That is offensive. And the other argument I felt was extremely troublesome was that in order to argue that this case should be reduced down from a murder to a manslaughter, the elements of finding that, the jury would have to find that a average person in that same car under the same circumstances would have done the same thing. I am so grateful to this jury because 12 people, citizens of Orange County, made it very clear that is not the new world order because people are acting irrationally and crazy out on our roads today. That's not okay. And had the jury allowed that to be voluntary manslaughter, if they had bought defense's argument, they would have sent a message that it's okay to carry a gun in your car, and if somebody comes by and you get into some kind of exchange, 
and you fire your weapon, you are only responsible for voluntary manslaughter. This jury said no. Dan Feldman said no. Investigator Hale said no. Todd Spitzer said no. Joanna Clunan said no. And 12 jurors, when asked, is this your verdict? They said yes. Sometimes verdicts don't always go our way, and we respect the outcome. But everything Mr. Feldman asked for, the jury granted. I am so grateful to the Highway Patrol because their investigation was second to none. We had a manhunt in Orange County, the car was secreted in Whittier, and we needed to find these people. And as you know, a reward was put up by the Board of Supervisors, and we will be working, at least the Board of Supervisors will be working in direction of whether or not they're going to find out who provided information. But I want you to know, that $500,000, I spoke to uh, Supervisor Chairman Wagner this morning, and Katrina Foley, supervisor, and there's still $500,000 out there that's still alive and well for a reward. However, we still have the prosecution of Winnie Lee, and we still have sentencing, and so we won't be discussing a lot of details about that, but I want to remind the public, there is still a $500,000 reward leading to the conviction which occurred today. So we are grateful, we're thankful, we're thankful for your coverage, because you are letting the public know something very important. If you shoot somebody or use violence in this county and you harm an individual, you will pay the price. Listen to me very clearly as district attorney. If you go out and you take the law into your own hands and you use violence or force, you will pay. Mr. Aries is looking at 40 years to life. His life is over. And it's because he took the life of this precious, innocent little boy through no fault of his own. And we will never forget Aiden Leos. We will always remember what he stood for. And we will always cry with the parents who lose their children before they, their time has come.